would absolutely love if you would subscribe to this channel. So click the little subscribe button and you will be notified of all of the rankings, interviews, recaps, and previews. And we have people uh, that are also on Broadway coming up for the um, that Rockettes movie that they announced, the uh, Christmas, which is another couple of amazing Broadway performers. So I'm very lucky to have that as well to work with. It's really amazing. That is so cool. I mean, they're so talented. Like what a skill set to be a Broadway performer and it takes so much energy and then to like see them like kind of tone it down for the small screen is quite. Yeah. And and they do. They, I was, I'm surprised because it's such a different um, technique, but they were all fantastic. Like uh, Laura Osnes and and Aaron and uh, Aaron Tveit and everybody in one world. They were all so, so great. And same, same with the one, the Rockettes one coming up, everybody in that amazing. I'm, I'm really knock wood. Keep going. Okay. So I, are you, so you are the writer on the Rockettes movie. Is that what I'm understanding? Oh, yay. So exciting. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I'm really, that's a big one. I'm really excited about that one. Are you still like yeah. busy working on it? Or are they already filming? No, it? they're done. It's all done. I, oh, I, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all good. It's all set. Yeah. Well, and that then we got to shoot in uh, radio city. We had it to ourselves for two days and it was just I was standing on the stage just going, I, I can't believe I'm standing here right now with the Rockettes are over there and I, I'm standing on the stage. And it was, it was definitely a kind of a career highlight. Oh yeah. I can't, I mean, wait, that's to I can't wait for people to see it. Oh, that's so exciting. That's cool. They're like diving into like other kind of things. Like that's a big deal than having like Giada on this, like this, it kind of brings more hype to these movies. Now you, you mentioned getting to go be where the Rockettes were during filming. Do you get to go on set most of the time when they make um, I. Yes, but then during the last couple of years, no. <laughs> so generally I try, I don't have to be there because my work is pretty much done by the time I'm, by the time they're shooting, I will always have like a, there would be, sometimes they'll call me and say, hey, we need, you know, this scene has to move indoors and now this dialogue doesn't work. Can you do, can you rewrite it? Like I can always, I can do that from anywhere. I like to go to set when I can. It's usually in Canada um, because it's fun. It's just fun to be up there and see it take, you know, because you, you know, there's the page, but then there are all these other people that make it better and better, the director and the actors and the photog- the, the people who light it, everybody makes it better than it is on the page. So it's cool to see everything kind of come to life. Um, there, the One Royal Holiday was shot here in Connecticut, right? It was one of the first movies of the whole industry back from COVID. Um, so I only got to go one day just, just because of the nature of the quarantine and everything like that. Um, so I did go there that day. Um, yeah, I, I try and go, but with the, the Rockettes one, I definitely like that was a priority to go to, you know, go, go to New York, be hanging, be hanging around the set, just try not to get in the way. And yeah, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to get to that. Was cool. it, it was it's neat fun. because yeah. you get us like, I, I walked over and there's a sign you know, New York NYPD shut down for filming. They shut down the whole street in front of Radio City. And it's just cool to see your, your movie's name on a sign, you know, on the, on the sign that they're shooting in New York. And here's all these vintage cars they put in the front. And um, it, I have a great picture. It's my favorite picture of me standing in the middle of that street with the Radio City marquee behind it. And then the camera guys and the boom and, and everybody's in costume. It's just, it's such a cool, it's such a cool picture. I love it. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. I don't know if you've posted that yet, but you, will I don't know if I'm allowed to, the only <laughs> thing I posted, uh, all I have is my Twitter. I think my Twitter cover picture, like my banner is that is one picture of the front of radio city with the vintage cars. That's okay. all I have. I think okay. I, don't, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to post anything else. Cause I have all kinds of stuff, but I don't want, I don't want to jump the gun. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that, but it'll be here. I mean, like this year's flying by. So the Christmas. Season yeah, will be here. it is. I have, and I have two, uh, I have a, a fall movie and a, uh, another holiday movie that I need to, that I'm working on right now that, you know, I'm in the middle of trying to get finished because it's already April and I'm like, oh my gosh. Cause yeah, it's flying by. For sure. Especially for those fall movies. I mean, they start that in early September. So yeah, goodness. yeah. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Well, yeah, I gotta so go. Oh, <laughs> yes. You have many movies to write. Um, <laughs> the hard part is like, yeah. you know, there's not that many different stories you can tell for Christmas. Right. But then there's always, you have to try and find a way to do, do it just different enough that it feels like a new movie. And then now, now things are opened up a little bit more. It makes it a lot easier. Like, I don't think we could have done a movie 
a Christmas movie set in 1958 with the Rockettes before the last couple of years, you know, so oh, it's that's good. amazing. It's so cool. I feel like, uh, feel like Marvelous Mrs. Maisel a little bit, maybe with those costumes. It is the same. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels the same. It's the same year, I think, too. So yeah. I was yeah. saying we should just go raid, go uh, go find her all their costumes and just steal them for a couple of days. But right. <laughs> it, it, it looks really good. The costuming, everything looks really great on this movie. That's incredible. People, people love it. It's cool. Yeah. I'm sure like the budgets are a little more on those types of period projects, which but I, I guess yeah. that's why we don't see too many of them, but that is exciting. I think the budget definitely, that. I think it's definitely more on this one for sure. Yeah. I think it's a, you know, your radios, you know, it's, it's a huge thing to have radio to shoot at radio city. And I, I really kudos to Hallmark because it's not, it wasn't an easy deal to make, I'm sure. And it wasn't, it's not easy logistically. And they made, they all made it happen. And, and, you know, I didn't have to worry about it. I just watched, watched it all happen, but they, they really made it all happen. So. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you love all things up TV, Hallmark channel, GAC family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels, click that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews until next time. Thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.